If you're applying for our internship, obviously you want to fill out everything in the application. That includes the intern application form. Include that transcript. Even if you're not really that proud of it, include it because if you don't include it, we think, well, either they don't follow instructions or they're hiding something. So, so um, we always want that. On your resume, keep it to a page or less, unless you've got three or five years of work-related experience. I've been working for 25 years and my resume is two and a half pages. So we want, we want buzzwords. And so talk about the languages you know for, for software engineering. For electrical, talk about some of your projects. Um, also for software, talk about projects. And be specific, um, if you've been part of a team, list your duties. We recognize that a lot of the projects are teaming, but we want to know what your contribution is. Um, it's kind of a red flag if you have a big project and you say, well, I did everything. And, and then we, when we start talking to you, it's like, well, yeah, there was a team of six. You know, and so, so we want you to be specific there. Um, include some hobbies and some interests. Um, we, again, I'm interested in, in you as a person. And then um, lastly is, is that even if you don't think you qualify, apply anyway. Because there's always going to be an opportunity and you never know what's going to happen to differentiate it. When I'm first reviewing the resumes, obviously I'm looking at GPA. What I'm really looking for is a, is a, a problem solver and a critical thinker because I believe that engineers are really just problem solvers. And if they have those skills, then they can succeed. And so that's what I look for when I'm screening the resumes. I also look for hobbies and I look for work history. One of the things that would have been helpful is if they would have given me a, a, a career objective on their resume or a cover letter just basically looking for what they wanted. Because I looked at all the computer science majors. I looked at a couple of electrical engineering, but I couldn't tell where their interests led. And so I didn't want to grab an EE if they didn't want to do software. That would probably be something good, is you know that career objective or what they're looking for, maybe a cover letter on their resume. Right now, we just have one intern, but in the past, um, our hardware engineering, our communications engineering, our project management office have actually taken interns. And so, yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely uh, um, excited about the intern program and, and look for the opportunity to, uh, to see some more young engineers.